Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms entering their last game against the 35-32, 4 and 4 Wilkesbury Scranton Baby Penguins, as our Phantoms are 28-32, 10 and 5. Um, in the head-to-head, -head, Wilkesbury, um, according to the 365 app, does have the advantage. But I think the Phantoms in moments this year have played Wilkesbury well. It's about limiting Nylander, Poulin, and of course Pustinen. Obviously, Felix Robert seems to play the Phantoms well. Michael Chaput also seems to play the Phantoms well. Uh, POJ is obviously somebody you want to watch out for. But I would say my main key players to limit it has to be uh, Alexander Nylander if he's in, Pustinen, uh, Poulin as of right now is listed, uh, oh no, 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 I, never mind, he's not listed as an active, so Poulin would be in as well, and those would be my three keys to limit. Ricola coming up off of the defense is a very good guy at jumping up on the play at the AHL level, so you got to watch out for him as well, but I would say those would be my guys to limit. The key for the Phantoms in this is just go out with a bang. It would be nice to have a win, but have a very, obviously the team's tired, as Lappy said, and I agree with him, it's, it makes sense. There's been rushed, slam-packed, games and you've seen it affect other teams as well um the henderson silver knights are kind of one of those teams that affected this year as well i think they could have been a better team overall they're 38 28 4 and 1 so it wasn't a bad or 34 28 4 and 1 but that wasn't a bad season for the knights but there's other teams that it could have been a better season if these weren't jam-packed games and wilkesbury could even be thrown into that category as much as i hate to say it as a phantoms guy but wilkesbury could even be thrown into that category so that does play in here let's just go out with a bang hogberg's back samula's back felix is back i would have to assume he's in cage i would have loved to see hansen to get his debut because he dominated the mariners and won that friday night with a great game i was on the call with eric jessberger um for the reading royals but it would be nice to see him get his debut but i understand both ends of it you have guys in um that are not playing, obviously, with the most energy right now just because of tired legs and et cetera, et cetera, from the end of a hockey season that's now at the end of a season that's lost and you're not going to the playoffs. But you still want to see, as we saw from some young guys like Ratcliffe and obviously others I've asked about, and Matthew Stroms, that Sam Wismer, the great Sam Wismer, asked about, you're seeing good signs moving forward into next season. And that's just what you want to see. Obviously, the last two games, score-wise, were not that great. But even some guys, like the Ratcliffe's of the world, the Matthews, Matthew Stroms, Adam Johnson as well, who I think will probably be on the team next year, those guys have shined through. And if they are going to be, well, we know two of them are most likely, and Ratcliffe and Strom, if he doesn't make um, the team going into next season, either of those other two. But Johnson, I would think, is an AHL vet, will stick around and should stick around. And I'm happy that he proved me wrong and has been very good for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But in this game, great goaltending. Actually block out the net front for once. Don't also, sometimes the Phantoms defense sometimes ends up being the screen because of their positioning. You can't end up being the screen of your own goaltender, so you got to make sure you don't do that. Block out the net front to the best of this season. Just go out with a bang. At least go out with a competitive like 3-2, to 4-3 to three loss if you don't get a win. But I want to continue to see the Ratcliffe of the Royal. I want to continue to see these other young guys. Linus Sandin since coming back. I want to continue to see these guys be good. And Herberg and Zamula if they're in their final game. I thought Karinchak showed a lot of good uh, to round out the season. I thought Felix showed a lot of good in his first game. Obviously round and pounding and beating up. Um, <clears throat> beating up his opponent, obviously, literally in the fight. So I think there's been good signs in this downtrodden overall season. And I'm honestly positive because of the young talent going into the next season as well. But Sam and I will talk about that on the ghostly take that I'm doing with Sam Wismer tomorrow. Have a great, safe, pleasant day, everybody. This has been the latest or preview edition of the ghostly take of the season as this is the final Phantoms game of the season. Let's go, Phantoms. Let's go out with a bang. Peace out, everybody.